Welcome back guys, it is another day and another AI tool to review. This time we're going to be talking about a one called Domo AI, which has actually a multitude of different AI functionalities, but their main feature really is this video AI tool that allows you to change your existing footage into a different style. To give you a better idea, let me play this clip from their website. So these are footages which are like real life footage which has been turned into a different style. So they have many different styles available on their website from anime, from cartoons. Here we can see more like a 3D style. And then there's even this more pixel style, which is actually very cool. So there's a multitude of these different styles that you can actually use on their website, which will change your pre-existing footage. And I think this is a very big piece of technology in the future, especially on an industrial level, because I can see like a lot of like old movies, like black and white movies could be turned into color. You could turn movie into a technicolor or you could turn an existing movie into an anime. And that might like even warrant the re-release of a movie. And that's kind of interesting to me because there are a lot of like old movies from 50s, 60s, even 70s that kind of look kind of bad on the special effects. But they might actually look good if they were transformed into a, like a new, you know, style of sorts. What it would, would be anime or cartoon or something else. And good news is that is that there is a free trial for this one, but more about that in a second. But here is like a one footage that is being used on different styles. And these are not only the styles that are currently available, but what needs to be added here, as you can see from the core main footage, is that yes, it has a very slow motion. And if you gathered anything from the previous videos that I did on the channel where we talked about these other video AI tools like Toon Crafter, we talked about Pika and what was a Dream Machine. You know, when you do like very fast movement, they don't necessarily like perform really that well. But it comes to like slow motion movement and slow motion clips. Based on what I've seen with this tool, I think that's when the footage is really shining. This is probably one of my favorites, this pixel art thing. Like this is looking kind of very interesting to me. And I could see like this being adapted in a real game or anything. And it's just like very interesting art style in my opinion. And it just looks very candid to me. But yeah, there's a multitude of different anime variations and flat colors. And some will work better with other footages and etc. Like everybody knows that. And then there's even a fusion style, which basically, you know, changes out a lot of different things. So that's kind of interesting. Now let's go into the actual application. And basically there is a free trial, but you only get 15 credits, meaning that you can only do a one video generation with this tool. I mean, all of these things seem to have a different levels of customization and cost attached to them. And you can do an actual prompt here. You can choose the style. So there is quite many styles. Are we there like maybe three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, like around 36 styles. So that's actually pretty good. Now I'm going to be using anime versus eight. I think that's the one I'm going to be using here today. I choose, I chose this dog footage, which, you know, has very slow and little movement because I think that's just the kind of the way to do it to be honest. And that's what we're going to be going for. And basically dog looking at the viewer, that's going to be my prompt. Obviously, since I have very little experience with like video prompts, I don't know, like is more detailed better or is less words better, but that's what we're going to be going with. And this is probably going to be taking around three minutes and to generate and in the meanwhile we're going to be looking into some of the actual other features here and also we should probably talk about the price so what is the price range looking for domo ai so the basic plan is eight dollars which give you 500 credits and so it's 15 credits per prompt well you don't really get that many videos per month but there will be no watermark optional credit top ups and parallel fast lanes not really that important and obviously all the styles and standard plan, which is a $16, actually has unlimited generation on relax mode. How fast is the relax mode? Is that 20 minutes, 15 minutes, a one hour? I don't know, but that's actually a pretty good plan because I'm paying 
a fairly good amount of money for mid journey, which I think I have the third largest plan or something. And that has a similar price point and it has also that relaxed mode. But this one, in my opinion, is very price competitive in the sense that I compared into the pricing of mid journey, which is not doing video. It's only doing images. So this is unlimited generations with video. So that's kind of impressive to me. So you can do a movie with this plan. You can change a pre-existing footage into something else. That, that could be a very cool project to do. And then there is the pro plan, which is $40. And this is also giving unlimited generations, but more credits. And also you can do 20 second generations on fast mode exclusively. So I presume that other plans are not allowing you to do 20 seconds. I think there was a couple of different options where we had five and 10. So you would kind of be resorted into 10 second deal here, which is, I guess, okay. And then there's like, let's, let's go back to that in a second. So what I'm trying to say, and then obviously the monthly, monthly and the yearly plans, like with all of these other ones, you know, they are always cheaper on the yearly plan. So in my opinion, comparing this price into Dream Machine and Pika, which we reviewed earlier, I think this price point is actually very reasonable. It's obviously kind of made for something else. And I also do believe that this is getting you, it doesn't actually talk about that in the FAQ, but I think you do get the actual commercial rights to this footage. I mean, I guess in, in case the source of material is you own the rights to. But I, I do like the pricing here. I don't think it's too bad. But then again, we can always talk about is the quality good enough to actually be worth paying for. I've I said this a lot in the recent weeks that these video tools are very proof of a concept right now and give it a couple of months and they will definitely get a lot better. And so let's kind of get back into looking at some of the other features here. What, what, do, we, what do we actually have here? So we also have an animate so you can actually put out an image here. This is only costing you 10. So I guess, you know, you can use your credits differently here. So we can animate existing images. That might be also better than, you know, just animating an existing video. So that's a very nice tool. This is only limited to five seconds. So that has its own negatives. Then there is a generator, which is basically using, I believe, stable diffusion underneath. And yeah, that's what it seems like. This can, you, you can, you know, do your prompt here in the beginning with, and then after you have done the generation, this is only one. So this is actually pretty good. So you first prompt out the image and then you can animate it. And after the animation, you can change it into a video, whatever you want to. And then you have the movement thing. This is also costing 15 credits uh, per generation and also seems to support up to 20 seconds. So this is kind of similar to thing. And here I have a couple of different prompts and you know, like uh, you, you basically put out an image here or a video and then you put up a reference thing and it basically animates them together. So that's kind of like a good thing. So overall, there's four very nice different features here available. There's no like library tool here. So in case you want to be prompting a lot of the things, you can also do them on the Discord side. So there's a Discord community and you can see a lot of people's work at there. So in case you're looking for a guidance on what types of prompts to do, that's probably the best place to do it at. But um, yeah. Let me actually fast forward here. And after some minutes, we got our end result here. So let's see how it basically turned out. So yeah, I mean, in terms of the movement is actually not too bad, but the style here maybe didn't actually go for what I was exactly looking for, but hey, I guess it's form of a proof of concept. And I mean, there is a lot of other footage out there in their Discord and in their Twitter where you can kind of see a lot of the capabilities and the possibilities that this AI, AI tool can do in case the initial image from their website wasn't initial video, sorry, wasn't enough to basically convince you to basically try it out. I mean, it's a free trial, guys. Try it out and see what you think about it. And leave me a comment down below. What do you think about this? How does this compare against the other competition like Dream Machine, Sora, etc.? And I will be seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching. I will be seeing you very soon.